Aqua Cars Direct. Let's spend some time today with this 2000 BMW M5. Under the hood of the M5, you're gonna find BMW's five liter V8 engine. Now this is an M spec engine. Uh, it's 400 horsepower, it does have infinitely variable valve timing as well as uh, it's mated to a six speed manual transmission. Routed right to the rear wheels, it's a proper sports car, but extraordinarily muscular, a ton of torque. Uh, everything in this car, uh, functionally, is uh, lifted from an M-series component. So you've got uh, beefed up driveline, components, suspension, steering wheel, seats, clutch, shifter, you name it. But we'll take it for a ride after we take a walk around it because it's a pretty sweet car. Walk around, just to give you an idea of the condition, you've got uh, Xenon headlamps up front here. Uh, a handful of stone chips that just go in through the clear coat. There's really nothing that goes down to the primer, but um, you know, a car with this, uh, of this vintage, you, you would expect this no matter what, but really in excellent condition. Uh, shows factory specific correct. Look at the shine on the hood there. Looking down here, you have the 18-inch uh, wheel. Uh, that is the uh, Michelin Pilot Sport uh, wheel here. Uh, they are all seasons, but you have a 245-45ZR18 here. Uh, and they are mud and snow rated, but uh, that is the factory wheel. Uh, take a look at down the driver's side, the panels. Fit, finish, everything looks as if it's factory new. Uh, on the rear here, you're gonna find uh, the 18 inch wheel as well, but it is a staggered size. Uh, these are sized as a 275-35ZR18. Come around the rear again, nothing to talk about as far as condition. You got the signature quad outlet uh, exhaust. All stock from BMW, proper M5 badging. You do have tinted windows around the rear, but the passenger side is in excellent condition, just as the driver's side is. It's all uniform. It's really a nice car. BMWs are traditionally some of the best built cars. Just to give you an idea, they're bank vault solid. This car is still 5 Series, so it's got uh, generous accommodations, nice sized trunk. You do have the proper uh, factory M5 floor mats, really in great condition. Uh, there are the fronts, got both to the rear. Uh, if you zoom in, Dangerous Dave on the side panel here. You'll see you got the drive for the BMW navigation, but also the six disc BMW CD changer. Look across the front seats, you've got uh, dual power front seats, but these are the M5 specific with the two tone leather. Uh, you've got a number of power options, a power lumbar support, as well as a power extending thigh support. But uh, step in, no different than your average uh, BMW sedan, but uh, you do have power tilt and telescope steering wheel here as well as a three position memory for the driver right here on the You've got door. the M-Spec steering wheel layout here with the special uh, red and blue stitching all the way around, but uh, very, very legible gauges. Obviously a very purpose driven, uh, what I would call a cockpit here. Multi-function steering wheel here, you've got uh, some radio functions as well as your cruise control, but the layout's very simple. Everything uh, falls readily to the touch. You've got a leather dashboard here and also an Alcant Alcantara headliner above me, but navigation system with a, a premium sound system, which is a dynamite sound. Uh, you do have a digital sound processor with seven band equalizer there. Uh, this is a navigation, uh, it's a somewhat of a dated system, but it still works very well. Uh, you can see, obviously, we got the graphic on there showing us where we're at. Uh, cassette deck and dash, you do have a six disc CD changer in the rear. Dual zone climate control down here, as you can see. Uh, just dial up your temperature uh, for both zones. Below there, you're going to find your front heated seats. Uh, this sport button will actually change the throttle mapping of the car. Uh, to amplify a little bit of the throttle response and then DSC is dynamic stability control. That's your traction and stability control combined into one. Just to indicate, uh, while it's rather common, it's still rather unfortunate, the aluminum finish on the console tends to wear a little bit, so the only real interior wear I can point out is just this little bit on the console here. Uh, if you rest something on there, you never know. Uh, but you do have the sport shifter in here. It's a nice short shift. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you've got a uh, backlit uh, shift pattern right at the top of the shifter. Back seat of the M5 is luxurious as well. Very comfortable for a six footer. Got a nice fold down console here, but these are sculpted uh, with a little bit more pronounced bolstering and a uh, pop up headrest as well. thousand miles on it but the sport shifter is fantastic you can see the clutch takes up right at the bottom just a little tiny bit of gas and you're right away 
but uh, catch a second gear perfectly. Oh, it's so much fun to do that. The power is intoxicating and the sound of it's intoxicating. So much fun. Just listen to the listen to the Suede. Behind the wheel of this car, it's a muscle car. I mean, it really is. It's a 400 horsepower V8 engine. You know, that's what you get in the standard issue Corvette these days. And that's a very, very fast car as well. But uh, six-speed manual transmission, you know, it doesn't get much sportier than that, but the instant response in this engine feels amazing. And it sounds so cool. Take a ride on the highway here. Here, wow, I'm coming in really hot here. <laughs> it's the balance. You can actually, you can almost hear it as if it's like musical by where my foot is. The throttle is that sensitive that you can hear the intake valves move with my foot. Oh, is that amazing? What an unbelievable feeling. There you go. Check out some. I remember being 16 years old and wanting a uh, 5 liter Mustang V8 and that car made 225 horsepower and I remember thinking that, that was the coolest thing because, man, 225 horsepower. But listen to the sound of this thing. This is 400 horsepower, a naturally aspirated car. Uh, infinitely variable valve timing. Uh, if you've driven a car like that before, you kind of understand that at every stage of your foot uh, position on the throttle, the timing between the exhaust and the intake changes. And listen to just that downshift. And obviously a good clutch listen to take up here, I'll hit it. This car is like brand new. I don't want to sell it actually. I'm trying to figure out a way to get my wife to let me to buy it. I just don't know if I had the space in the garage for it. It'd be a hell of a little uh, track toy, huh? This car at the time was the fastest four-door sedan you could buy. Uh, it's still a remarkably fast car. It still holds its own, especially on the racetrack with a lot of the others. I mean, they made this car in stock form to be a world beater, and it really is. The thing's amazing. 400 horsepower. You still got six-speed manual. You sacrifice nothing in sport, but you keep the utility of a four-door luxury sedan. What a great combination in my mind. The auto check history report uh, does show that the car has a uh, clean history. A handful of registration events put in, but uh, no previous accident history or anything reported. But uh, check out our website, you'll find 60 pictures of this M5 at chicagocarsdirect.com or see our entire highlight reel. You'll find us on YouTube at youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for spending some time with us today, and we'll see you next time.